How's it going, everybody? Thank you guys so much for making us part of your day today. Well, today is Friday, and this Friday we are kickstarting a new series that I'm really excited about called Flashback Fridays. And what that is, is every single Friday, starting today and moving forward, uh, we are going to be playing a message from our man of God, Pastor Jesse Haley, back when he was young, when he was my age or a little bit older. And it's going to be a fun time. We're going to have a lot of laughs and um, hear some good preaching. So please check it out and be ready for the next week because we're going to do this for the next few weeks. So that being said, we'll just get right into uh, the message. This message took place in 2006 in Hoven, South Dakota. Enjoy. I got going for you, brother. Amen, amen. All right, 2 Kings chapter 6, and uh, I just want to try to read quickly here, and I'll give you what I can here. The Bible says in, in 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 1, And the sons of the prophets said unto Elisha, Build now the place where we dwell. For the uh, place where we dwell with thee is too straight for us. And uh, I've had some say that, amen. And uh, let us go, we pray thee unto Jordan, and take uh, thence every man a beam, and let us make a place where we may dwell. And the answer, go ye. Let's, I'm not even going to read that. Let's go down to verse number 8. The Bible says, Then the king of Assyria warred against Israel and took counsel with his servants, saying, In such and such a place shall be my camp. And the men of God sent unto the king of Israel, saying, Beware that thou pass not such a, uh, such a place, for thither the Syrians uh, are come down. And the king of Israel sent to the place where, or which the man of God told him and warned him of, and he saved himself there not once nor twice. Therefore the heart of the king of Syria was sore troubled for this thing, and he called his servants and said unto them, Will you not, will you not show me which of us is for the king of Israel? And one of his servants said, None, my lord, O king, but Elisha the prophet that is in Israel. Telleth the king of Israel the words that thou speakest in thy bedchamber. And um, I want to say some good things about this. Number one, this king, the king of Syria, the enemy of Israel, the enemy of God, he got together with his men. And the Bible says that he took counsel. That word would be the New Testament equivalent of the word wise. Amen. Amen. The wild. See, as the, as, the de as the devil gets together and he's looking to destroy those uh, to whom we try to minister, he got together and he wanted to destroy the king of Israel. But thank God, God put a man of God into the king of Israel's life by yeah. the name of yeah. Elisha. Yeah. I'll tell you something else about the king of Israel. He listened to God's man. Yeah. He listened yeah. to the man of God. I yeah. think back about old Jehoshaphat. Uh, boy, we, we, we praise him. And I tell you, he was a great king. We understand that. But boy, he said, I want to hear from a man of God. Those other prophets, whenever they come, and the Bible says they spoke by the Lord. And the word that they used for Lord was a very general word and didn't even mean God. That's right. Amen. But then, then, then that's when Joseph said, is there not a prophet of the Lord? Yeah. Yeah. Besides in that man, the, the true God. Amen. 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 Well, they brought Micaiah, and that's great. He told the message. He preached the word of God. Amen. What can Joseph do? Not a thing. Not a thing. That's what a lot of people do. They call it, I want to hear the preacher. Yeah, tell me. Yep. Well, I'm glad he told the truth. Amen. Now let's go back and do what he's going to do anyway. Amen. Uh, uh, anyway, that's all another mess. But he listened to the word of God. Yeah. Listen, he had a man of God. And I want to tell you that there's people to the places that we've been called to that Satan wants to destroy. Right. Satan wants to destroy. Satan's got plans against them. But with the help of God, we're getting with God. We're spending time with God because the Lord was showing Elisha what was going on in the king's bedchamber. Amen. And so we begin to understand. We are not ignorant of Satan's devices. So we understand how he's trying to bring our church down, our community down, our family down. So God begins to reveal those things to us. And we begin to get up and herald and sit with people and try to counsel them and try to bring them to a place where they understand, hey, don't go there. Amen. Yes. And I would preach. Amen. Don't go there. And I don't have time to preach all this. But I do want to say this. God has put us in people's lives. But I want you to notice what happened. The more effective we begin to become in our ministry of trying to help people. And it's not even just with preachers. It's with homeschool moms. Amen. It's with parents. It's with Sunday school teachers. But I'm telling you, to the men of God, listen, he's put people in our lives. The more effective we are, just as Elisha was effective. And may God help me to be effective. In verse 13, here's what will happen. And he said, go and spy out where he is. I wish I could preach about where would he find you. Amen. Yeah. Go see where he's at. Go, go spy out where he is that I may send and fetch him. And it was told him saying that he was in Dothan. And I want to say this. The enemy now turns his forces, Brother Williamson, in Maryland and in that community and says, okay, I'm, I'm pointing my efforts this way. I'm putting my battle in array against 
against this man. And all of a sudden, the king of Assyria was after Israel. He was after the king. But now he says, I'm going after God's man. And I want to tell you today that that's exactly what we see. If we are going to be effective, if we are going to do something for God, listen, I'm telling you, God or, or Satan will come after us. And I hope he finds us in a place called Dothan. Dothan sound familiar? That's where they threw Joseph into the pit. Right. Amen? Yes. Where was he at? He was at the cross. Amen? Hey. He was at Calvary. He was at a place oh. of death. Yes. He was at a place of suffering, but he was also at a place of resurrection. Amen. amen. Boy, I tell you, man, I tell you, amen. he was in Dothan. Amen. Therefore, see, he thither horses and chariots and a great host, and they came by night and passed the city about. And when the servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, behold, and a host come past the city, both with horses and chariots, and his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. But and Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened his eyes. Of the eyes of the young man, and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire around about. I just want to say a few things because I know I'm about to hear it, amen. But I want to say this it, when, when, whenever Satan does come against us, whenever he does surround us, we need to keep the right attitude, yeah. amen. Amen. Yeah. amen. Listen, he didn't get worried about it. I mean, listen, he kept the right attitude. As a matter of fact, that okay. Amen. 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 